Hey everyone, it's Gearsy here, and today I'm very glad to announce my first ever Iceberg Zone Wars map. I've been wanting to create a map like this for the longest time, but I had to wait till the time was right so I could make it as quality as possible for you guys, so consider dropping a like to help more people see it. In the comments, tell me your favorite feature of this map, and let me know if you want me to create more, because if we get enough support, I'm happy to do so. Anyways, without any further ado, watch till the end so you don't miss any important parts, and let's begin. I decided to create a zone wars that would be fun for casual and competitive players. I started by making sure the storm wasn't too fast at the start, and you had time to get a feel for your surroundings. This is especially important since in this map, the turtles are more spread out like in a real game, and you spawn inside a different one every match. I'll start things off by explaining how the unique zone works. The first three circles are not random and will take you down the first mountain and about halfway up the second mountain, but don't worry, the last five zones are all completely random, which makes the end of the round intense and just like a real game. On top of that, the last circle fully closes in, which forces people to fight, meaning if you die early on, you won't have to spectate very long before a new match begins. And since the island turned out to be pretty large, you would think it's going to be laggy and use a ton of memory, but surprisingly, it clocks in at under 35,000 memory, which is way less than half of the max amount, meaning it should run smoothly on all platforms, including mobile and Switch. Plus, if you don't have 16 friends just like me, this is the perfect map to use in Playground Fill and get a full lobby. I mean, just look at all these people eager to play. One at a time, please. Because of its size, I added four community launch pads that spawn every round, along with these mini loot side type things that can either spawn a campfire, RPG, or some sort of mobility item. These mini sites can come in really clutch and be a nice way to get you back on your feet during the game. There are also mushrooms scattered around the map, so you can top off your shield if you get shot at and still have a chance. There's arena harvesting rates, and you have the option to box up inside any building you want so you can save mats while turtling. But if you're really interested in improving your skills, practice waterfalling down the mountains while under pressure. I made the map to simulate the region near Polar Peak because every time I had an endgame there, I would struggle and wasn't as confident as I was on normal ground. Oops, I almost forgot to give you guys the map code. You can find it in the description where you will also find a link to save it directly to your queue without having to be on Fortnite. Speaking of the code, I no longer have to change it every time I fix something, so you guys will always be playing on the most up-to-date map no matter what. And if you enjoy my maps, especially this one, the absolute best way you can support me is by using Code Gear Z because it allows me to make better content for you guys. Anyways, one of the key features of the Zone Wars is the spawns. You load into your own turtle and are instantly given a randomized loadout with weapons from the current meta excluding the drum shotgun because nobody likes it. The only current problem is that your health item doesn't automatically go into your inventory, so while you are receiving it, simply click your pickup button once and you should get it right away without issues. Now moving on to the terrain, as I said before, I was super inspired by this piece of land by Frosty Flights which had so many steep cliffs and high peaks that I just had to make a massive zone wars using it. Because you start by heading down a mountain and then shortly after scaling one, it can lead to some diverse and interesting gameplay, and when I saw this little cave, I knew I had to put a spawn there because it just looks so cool. As you can tell by the title, Iceberg Zone Wars, I decided to add a ton of icebergs and small elevations to make it seem bumpy and give you natural cover, but don't worry, there's no actual ice that makes you slip because that would be chaos. And let's say you aren't too happy with your loadout, well don't worry, because this map has a tiny twist. In all of the buildings, you will find randomized floor loot and chests that are random every game, along with ammo crates everywhere. Also, the chests have a small chance of dropping vaulted items, making for some interesting gameplay. It's quite rare to actually get a vaulted item, so it shouldn't ruin anything, and it's kind of funny when someone starts floating in balloons or a junk riff gets yeeted at you. By the way, I want to give a huge thank you to Immature Gamer, Zero Your Hero, and Enigma for being amazing inspirations while creating this. And if you find any bugs or want things added to the map, just message me on Twitter, at Gearsy, and I'll be sure to respond. Since you made it to the end of the video, I'm sure you enjoyed, so here's a friendly reminder to subscribe if you want more content just like this. Once again, the best way you can support me and my maps is by using code GEARZY in the item shop before making a purchase. Thank you. Anyways, I wish you all a fantastic day, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace.